I always try to present different options. For example, someone who will come to see me um, who have not, who's not been able to tolerate CPAP and they want to have surgery, I try to present option one, two, and three. Often I would offer to do a very small option for operation, for example, nasal surgery when patients have significant nasal obstructions. I would clear their, recommend that they could try clearing their nose so they could breathe better through their nose and try CPAP again. Not really doing surgery to try to eliminate CPAP, but try to facilitate the ease of using CPAP. That's an opinion. Um, I may often off, offer upper lower jaw advancement because that is the most successful and try to give them a percentage in terms of what success what percentage will be successful. And there are times I would present options that involve in smaller surgeries and I try to give them a realistic expectation. Now that, that's the key, it's a realistic expectation because every patient is different. Someone who's 55 years old, 280 pounds, 5 foot 10, his surgical result is, or outcome is going to be very, for, for a particular procedure, is going to be very different than a 25-year-old non-obese woman.